truly a, a world first. At Burwood Brickworks, we're embarking on something that's never been achieved before. And it's part of our sustainability strategy at Fraser's where we seek to develop places that are safe, healthy and efficient for people to live, work and play. We're constantly innovating and improving and constantly looking to do more. And at Burwood Brickworks, that's exactly what we're doing. So we're looking for 40 like-minded tenants to come along and be on that journey with us and be part of something that is truly groundbreaking. The Living Building Challenge is a design, construction and operation tool for buildings. It's the most rigorous performance framework in the world to try and make buildings give back more than they take. LBC uses the, a flower, a simple flower, as a metaphor. Essentially, if you think of a flower, it's rooted in its place, so it's in context. All the energy it needs comes from the sun, all the water it needs comes from the air in terms of rain. It doesn't create pollution, doesn't create toxicity, and it looks good at the same time. And this metaphor is actually how the LBC works. In the end, if you can build a building as, that operates as well as a simple flower, you can get this certification. Burwood Brickworks is attempting to be the first retail centre in the world to achieve the Living Building Challenge. So for some people that means it will be the most sustainable shopping centre in the world. For us it also means it will have an extremely healthy environment. It's a building that will give back more than it takes and it will become a model for the rest of the built environment industry to follow. Creating greener, healthier environments is good for business. Fraser's has a huge commitment to sustainability but our project team at Build Brickworks has spent over three years now investigating not only the environmental but the social and financial benefits to sustainability. So when you have healthier, greener environments complementing really considered retail options, it's a marriage made in heaven. To deliver a world first at Build Brickworks, we've put together a, a really young, energetic, dynamic and specialist team. We have an internal living building challenge manager and a specialist materials coordinator who's focusing on putting together a green list of best in industry materials. So we're not going to tell our customers what they can't use, but rather we've put together an evolving spreadsheet of materials that they can use. We've spent over three years with our project team making sure that the base build of the shopping centre complies with the Living Building Challenge. But all of our specialty tenants also need to comply with the imperatives of the Living Building Challenge. So we're out in the market looking for like-minded tenants to change the way they design, fit out and operate their tenancies to help show the industry how building greener can do better for business. So continuing in the metaphor of the flower, the LBC is ranged under seven different petals. One of these petals is water. If you imagine the water on this site before we even build, some water will fall from the sky and rain, some of it will sink into the ground and some will run off. We need to build this building and then have a similar water balance to before we even got there. For all water that rains down on our roof, we'll capture every single drop and use it. For all water that hits our car park or any other surfaces, that will drain into a tank and we'll treat it and use it. We're using some state-of-the-art technology that cleans, filtrates, aerates, and then allows us to repurpose the water to really high quality standards as would be uh, dictated by the Environmental Protection Authority or EPA in Victoria. So although we've put in the infrastructure to capture, clean, treat, reuse all water within the building, and we're also putting in water meters so we can all track our water usage, what we'd like tenants to do is work with us to try and reduce the amount of water needed in the first place. What that means is we hope that they can put in high quality fixtures and fittings so that water isn't unnecessarily drained away. Where we've got um, kitchens or we've got service desks and a nail salon or a travel agency, if we can actually um, increase the productivity of these staff in these zones by providing them with access to natural daylight and fresh air, they're going to be more productive in these zones and spend longer in them. We find that if people spend time in a more relaxed and um, healthier environment, that's going to reduce stress, it's going to result in an increased mood and furthermore we're going to have people that are happier and they're actually going to want to spend further time at the shopping centre and they're going to actually enjoy moving about the spaces that we've designed.
The materials puddle is a massive undertaking. It's a lot of researching, it's a lot of contacting suppliers and building up those relationships. Materials are generally looked out for specifications, maybe for sound or thermal comfort. In this context, we're looking at the materials and what's in them to make sure that it's socially responsible, environmentally sound and non-toxic. During the process of um, looking at the base build products, we have also included that any tenancy requirements. That means that we've got a list already of 130 different products which are on our green list. This means that um, as we go through this product, we'll be adding many more to our list and there'll be a list which tenants can refer to to find compliant products. The suppliers that we've been working with that have come on board with this process have been amazing. Um, they've been very eager to see if, what they can do for us and we've been creating lots of partnerships in order to get through this process because it's not only new for tenants, it's been new for the suppliers as well. But they've all been very good at helping us through it and working with us. Salvage materials is a great resource for tenants if they can incorporate that into their design as um, salvage materials do not have the restrictions um, around a lot of the products that they can use and it's also a great um, way to decrease waste. Another imperative in the living building challenge is net positive waste. What we're trying to do is create a closed loop management system for waste in the building. What this means for tenants is we want them to carefully think about what they bring into the building. For example, avoiding single use plastics. Any waste that can't be avoided, we'd like them to sort first. So for example, sorting plastics, sorting through paper and cardboard, and also food waste where they can sort their food waste and take it to the on-site composter so it can be processed on site and then used on the urban farm. Well, energy is a key component of the building, both for tenants and the centre as well. So what we're trying to do with energy is focus not on just the supply of energy, but also energy savings within the centre. Under the pedal, we need to provide 105% of the energy use for the centre, 5% which will get fed back into the grid. We're aiming to reduce our energy use by more than 50% for the centre, but we really need the tenants to come on board and really think about how they use power. The centre will adopt an embedded energy network which provides green power to the tenants and also helps insulate them against rising energy prices. We're also providing on-site battery storage for the site. This will provide a bit more resilience for the power supply. Through the Beauty Petal we hope that any visitors to the shopping centre will encounter a sense of surprise and delight. This will increase the likelihood for them to create that Instagram moment or to enjoy that sort of time in that space. It's going to create sort of further visits from other shoppers to our shopping centre um, and it's also going to be in fitting with our overall design for the public art and the overall design for the building. We've got a base building team that's comprised of architects and interior designers but each um, tenant by virtue will actually bring their own beauty um, and spirit through their own designs. The place pedal leads us to designing really healthy, inviting and beautiful environments. We're providing almost four times the amount of bike parking spaces our local councils asked us to, which means that our shoppers, retailers and their staff will have over 200 bike spaces to choose from, as well as amazing end of trip facilities. So our customers and our retailers can ride their bikes to work, have a shower 
use the end of trip facilities before enjoying the beautiful environments of our shopping centre. We'll also have electric vehicle charging points to promote more sustainable forms of transportation. The Living Building Challenge asks us to dedicate 20% of our site area for urban agriculture, which leads into my personal favourite part of the development, which is our rooftop urban farm. We've dedicated over 2,000 square metres on the rooftop of our shopping centre for what will be an Australian first urban farm. The urban farm will comprise of a large 300 square metre cafe and restaurant with a large scale commercial greenhouse facility and external planting grounds. The planting grounds in the greenhouse provide opportunities for true paddock to plate dining experience and the shopping centre will start to talk and promote food metres instead of food miles where our retailers and our shoppers can go and select freshly grown fruit and vegetables from the rooftop of the very own shopping centre rather than exporting and transporting their produce in from off-site facilities. The equity battle under the Living Building Challenge is one that looks at how we as a developer have looked at our overall design of the building to make sure that we can, for human scale throughout the design of a beautiful facade, a naturally landscaped car park and overall a shopping centre that allows for us to provide gathering spaces for the community. For visitors to the shopping centre, we're creating a space that's quite comfortable to be in. Compared to other shopping centres, it's a space where you're going to want to spend more time in. For our tenants, this then also means that we've got um, shoppers that are going to increase their dwell time by simply enjoying the spaces that they're inhabiting in our shopping centre. A big part of the shopping centre for us is education. Internally our project team's got a really sound understanding of the benefits of our development, but the public and our shoppers and our customers might not. So we're providing a lot of static and interactive signage and educational opportunities, not only on the rooftop but downstairs in our shopping mall. So our customers and our retailers can better understand the benefits of solar generation, of water harvesting, of a healthy material palette and urban agriculture. For me it's a world leading, so it's something that hasn't been done before. So I've never had the opportunity to work on a, a project like this and I'm not sure I will ever, ever again, but it's very exciting for me at this time. I'm extremely excited. This is um, possibly one of the most challenging projects I will ever work on. It's exciting to be a part of a world first and certainly to be looking at the way we at Fraser's are really doing something different and to think about the difference the Burwood Brickwork Shopping Centre is going to actually make to the world, not just to our local suburb of Burwood. We look forward to working with tenants as we jointly deliver a new way of retailing in a building that gives more than it takes, is unique and beautiful and sets a new benchmark in terms of sustainability in the retail industry. We've already worked through this process with our major tenants, Woolworths and Dan Murphy's, two of Australia's largest retailers. And if we can do it with them, we know that we can do it with all of our tenants. This is a great opportunity to be part of the vision and realisation of building and operating the world's most sustainable shopping centre.